A WordPress widget is a small block area of your WordPress site that does a specific function. This video is going to show you what a widget is and how you can put it to use for your WordPress site. Now, not all WordPress themes support widgets, but most of them do. And for the themes that do support widgets, there are what's called widget ready areas that you can have your widgets in. Usually this widget ready area is in the sidebars, but depending upon the theme, it can also be in the header area, the footer area, and even below the content area. I've even seen it where it's inside of the content area as well. Now there's two different areas that you can go to to manage your widgets. And to do that, you need to log into the dashboard area, and I've already done that here. And if you've never logged into the dashboard area or the admin section of your WordPress site, well, to do that, up here in the address bar of your browser, type in the URL to your WordPress installation, followed by a forward slash wp-admin, hit enter, then a box is going to pop up asking you for your username and your password. Go ahead and enter those, click on log in, and that'll bring you to this page here. Then over here on the left, hover over the word appearance, and in the flyout, you'll have this word that says widgets. Go ahead and click on that link. And that'll bring you to the widgets management page. And over here on the right, you'll see the available widget ready areas. And again, this is theme specific. So if you are using a different theme than what I'm showing in this video, then this area might look a little different. But here under the primary sidebar, which is right here, we have these various widgets already active. The content sidebar on this particular theme is over here on the right, which currently is not displayed because, well, there's nothing in there. Likewise with the footer widget. You can see as I open that up, there's nothing in there. And the footer widget, you guessed it, is at the footer or the bottom of our WordPress site. Now to add widgets, you can do that a couple of ways. You can left click, hold and drag that widget over to the widget ready area that you want, then let go of your mouse and it will open up with the different available settings for that widget. Go ahead and make whatever adjustments you want. Click on save and the widget is now in that particular widget ready area. Let's come on back here and refresh. And there's that calendar, the widget that we just put in the footer widget ready area. Now, if you no longer want this widget in that area, but you want to keep whatever settings that were made, then there's a section over here on the left called inactive widgets. And like it says here, just drag those widgets and drop them right down in here, thusly. And those settings will be maintained. So if sometime in the future you want to add that widget to another area or even back to the same area that it was in, then you won't have to worry about reconfiguring whatever settings there were in there. So that's one way, left click, hold and drag. Another is simply to left click and you'll get this drop down that displays the different widget ready areas and all you have to do is just left click on that, click on add widget, and it's that simple. Then whatever adjustments you do make in here, be sure to click on save, otherwise you're not gonna take. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one because if I no longer want this in that widget ready area and don't care to save any of the settings, just click on delete, boom, gone. So that's one area in which you can manage the different widgets, adding, removing, and saving. Another area is by coming up here and clicking on manage and customizer. Now you can get to the customizer a couple of different ways by clicking on this button here or over here in the left sidebar. You can click on customize and that will bring you to the customizer within that particular theme or you can go to themes and the active theme will have a button that says customize. Click on that and that will take you to the same place that that customize link did. And then over here on the left you'll be presented with the widgets option right down here. Just click on that and it gives you the exact same information that was available to you on the other widgets management page. It just looks a little differently. So if we wanted to add or manage the widgets that are in the primary sidebar, just click on that and here they are. And you can left click on it and click on remove just as you could in the other management page or close. You can rearrange them just by left click holding and dragging them around or you can add new widgets by clicking on the add a widget button and you'll get this fly out here and let's say you wanted to add a calendar to the primary sidebar just left click on it and it automatically adds it to the bottom of that widget ready area and if you want to move that let's move this out here a little bit you see this is the primary sidebar right here let's say you want the calendar to be right up here below the search and above the categories Right there we go. And you get a live preview of it right here. Now, if any of these adjustments look good to you, great. All you have to do is click on save and publish. Come on back here and refresh. And you see we took that out of the footer, but up here at the top on the primary sidebar, 
we added that calendar below the search and above the categories. And to get out of here, just click on the X up here and you're brought back to whatever section you were in, be it customizer or themes, and that's it. That's going to bring us to the end of this video on the WordPress widget. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.